and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. We have business, of course, uh, as a very important audience, and we have politics, we have uh, uh, continuous uh, uh, partnerships with many governments around the world, and of course we have NGOs, uh, we have trade unions, we have all those different parts. Media, of course. Media, of course, and very important um, experts and scientists and academia, because if we are looking at the future, I think we should look at new solutions, and the new solutions will be very much driven by technological uh, developments. The new world order really consists of three aspects. There is a new world political system that everyone today is calling the new world order. As well as that, there is a, an economic plan for the new world order, and that is called the new world economic order. Uh, in addition to those two items, there is a third plan for religion. You see, uh, the planners of the world know that men need a religion of some kind, even if it's a false one. So they have a plan to give us a new age, world, global, occultic religion. So really, there's, there's three aspects to this new world order. A new world economic order in which a computer chip will be injected into our hands or foreheads as a means to track, control, and identify us, and will also be used to... Uh, make our purchases and scan its Well, they've, they've already put the program in in Los Angeles. In fact, uh, right. a trilateralist uh, named Mayor mm -hmm. Bradley, Uncle Tom Bradley, was uh, responsible for putting right. this in dogs. Right. And your children will be uh, considered like animals, like animals, and yeah, operating absolutely. through the Council on Foreign right. Relations, through the Trilateral right. Commission, through the Club of Rome, through Global 2000, which right. wants to reduce the population mm -hmm. of the planet by... Uh, what is it? Uh, Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five. Well, that's two. Uh, one billion two hundred and fifty million people have to be exterminated by the year two thousand. Well, they they can do that. So they essentially, the this technology. This Illuminati then is is the group of men who control not only all the money on the planet through all the world banks and the Federal Reserve and so on, but they control essentially all the governments. And so these men are planning to bring a, uh, bring about a global form of government that's unique in all history. It's a total enslaving system of world communism and fascism controlled by a hierarchy in Europe uh, that uh, Anthony calls what? The oligarchy. Well, no, I call it the evil arch. The evil arch. The oligarchy okay. of evil. So these men are satanically inspired, and of course we get that term from the Bible, which means the devil. They're satanically inspired to bring about a global form of government to every nation on earth. And that no man might buy or sell Save he, he that had the mark. Stop. So the subject is, with this particular mark, you can't buy or sell. Can somebody tell me what a radio frequency chip has to do with that? A radio frequency identification is meant as what? A GPS. To find location. Where's my dog? A, girl, a sister wrote me and said, my dog has an RFID chip. I said, well, maybe he can go buy some land for you. <laughs> Simple as hell. A radio <laughs> frequency identification chip is like a G. It find, you can find the location of whoever got them. Yeah. Like in your metro car, in your phone, your phone, your, yeah. phone, your car, whatever you lose, you, you'll find it. Right, those are chi there's chips in there to load for locations. Now, on the new credit cards and debit cards, you'll see a new little icon that looks like a wireless or Wi Fi. This is called RFID, or they call it contactless payment which is actually really cool because normally if you have a chip you put in your card you slide it in and then once you slide it in you have to go through the prompts of putting your zip code in now with the contactless payment you simply hold your credit card next to the machine and once it takes the payment you're done you don't have to put in your zip code I think it's really cool I've been using it a lot more I'd love to hear your thoughts on it are you using the new contactless payment system or are you still inserting the card hand or in their foreheads. Mm -hmm.